俺は俺は死なない Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sevenworks channel. Today we're building high grade after quarantine Wing Gundam Zero. So, a long, 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 long time ago, I did build the Bell Fighter series. It was Wing Gundam Zero Hono, I think. Oh, let's take a let's take a wide let's take a wee wide. It was probably like one year ago. <laughs> wow, that is some good old memories. Anyways, that's not the point. So, you know. Let's get started. So it's made in 2014. So it's a pretty long time ago. So we got some introduction. Then at the side here, we got some weapon detail and then uh, the actions. Not really much that you know exciting or you know very mind blowing informations. But we will take a look at the runners first. So we got. Three packs and then with an instruction menu. So the instruction menu is particularly small compared to normal HG ones. So we'll just quickly flick through it. And then here we got the introduction of the Wing Gundam Zero. It's all in Japanese, so I can't read it. And then we got the normal HG, you know, detail, action, review, uh, nail bird mode, and then we got the introduction and the color guide. And you know, nothing really special about it. It's just a but it, it, this, it does kind of feel kind of weird because it's a very particularly small instruction menu. I haven't like I haven't seen this kind of small menu for a long time. And then as you can see, we take a very quick look at the... I, I actually opened up the runners pretty quick. It was just three packages. So first we look at the A2 runner. So it's, it's the legs part, the wings part, the uh, knees part, arms part, uh, feet part, and then side skirt, and arms joint, and the beam saber here as well. The E1 runner, it is a sh the shield, part of the shield, the antennas, the uh, shoulders, and I believe it is the, I don't know about, uh, probably the, probably the um, rival part. And here we got the B runner, we got the buster rival, and then we got the all the inner joints of the MS. Basically, torso, hands option, legs, and then, you know, um, Shoulders part, all the inner joint is on the B runner. And then we got the A1 runner. We got the wings again, and then we got legs. We got, you know, uh, shoes. And then we got the head as well. And then we got front skirt, uh, waist part, and then some kind of side skirt as well. And then exactly same like the A2. And then we got a D runner. This is the outside armor. So we got some wings part. We got some torsos, back skirt, shoulders, and even legs. And then we got uh, some piece, you know, hand option pieces here. And then lastly, we got a C runner. So this is the shoulders, the feet, and I believe is the torso part. And then we got some waist part, we got the head, and then we got the, I don't know which part is this, this part, I, I'm not sure. Uh, this part is probably the, probably the shield. And then we got a clear piece for the chest. We also got the uh, beam sabers effect part. We got stickers, a lot of it, and it's particularly thin. So I have a little bit concern about it. And then lastly, we got polycaps. And that's pretty much. And that's pretty much it. It's a pretty small gamble, so it's not gonna have you know a lot of parts. Well, anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you guys at the review. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how
Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop, can't turn back now You know that there's no room for doubt Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Wing Gundam Zero. So this is the finishing of it. A couple of things to say before I start the review. As a very small model, so as you can see, if you compare it to the RX78 or you compare it to the, you know, large RGs like Sazabi or uh, Mark II or Sinanju, this is a very small scale Gunpla. And as you can see, uh, that's the benefit. Uh, I think this Gunpla goes both ways. It got some goods and got some, you know, bads. So the goods is, uh, for a very small scale Gunpla, it actually got a lot of penalizing details. So if you flip up the wings inside, there's a lot of penalizing details in there. So make sure you um, do those penalizing as well. <clears throat> but for such a small model like this, there's a problem is that um, a lot of parts on this model, you actually have to repaint and you know have because the lack of color separation and because it is such a small model and bandai will not you know give you extra uh what's that called the extra runners for you to you know do the color separation so a lot of part of it you have to do the color separation for example at the back wings here as you can see this black here i just put the i just use the gun marker to just you know uh Re repainted and overall though i think the kit is pretty good except i don't i think there's a couple part that i don't like is the feet unfortunately the feet is come with a fixed position so when you do the nail bird mode um you have to use the colors you have to use a separate piece to put it back on and i think that's kind of annoying so i mean when i look at the feet it's not that hard to you know make a make an extra joint there to let the feet fold but unfortunately bandai didn't do it that's fine it's okay we we'll still do with it so now let's jump straight into the review so first up let's look at the head so this time the head is a very simple very simple you know uh, construction so it's just white piece free white piece and then and you know a red piece for the gundam head and then the antenna here all the green parts on the head is a sticker the head can move up and down and then you know rotate it around rotate around as well it's not really that much to introduce there's no you know expansion there's no extension there's no you know hidden gimmicks or something it's just a very normal head like this so let's take a look at the torso so the torso here we got three stickers the big sticker at the middle under the green clear piece and then there's the sticker at the side of the chest so remember there's some details on the torso so remember to do those panel lining and the is a ball joint at the middle so able to go front and back it's able to move 360 so you can do so doing this design is because for the model to easily transform to the nail burnt mode and the hidden the hidden part of this so let me just take out one of the hands just let me take out one of the hands actually let me remove the head so there's a there's a hidden detail in here so if you flip this up you can see that's the uh, Gatlin can the Gatlin cannon is in it. Not usually, it's covered up by a white piece here, 
but uh, if you take that off, you can see that detail in the torso. So I think that is a pretty good thing. Like uh, they give you extra details. They didn't miss that part. I think that is a pretty good thing. Kind of feel like the hands were the part that doing the color separation the best. So first the hand has a lot of hidden gimmicks. So that's a, that's a joint here. You can flip that up and you can see the thrusters in there. The thrusters though, is a bit hard to flip down. So you might want to borrow some tools. You know, you might want to borrow some tools, you know, for example, Give it, give your, give yourself a clam, and then you can see the frost is popping out. The frost, is, however, you do have to repaint it yourself. And then there's a small shoulder piece here that you can move. The arm can move 360, and then the arm can also move slightly to the front. And that's pretty much it. And it can bend up 180. That is a very easy movement right there. Hands smoothing around. Unfortunately. We only get one pair of hands, so we don't have any other, you know, open hand, trigger hand, you know, whatever you name one. We don't have that. The hand can rotation uh, very easily, and if it feels kind of sloppy, but it's actually quite stable. It feels a bit sloppy, but it's stable. And then we can look at the shoulders here. It's an individual piece. However, this part you need to recolor it yourself so i just use the marker you know just fill up the spot it's pretty easy just buy one marker it's very cheap 10 bucks and then you can just reveal it yourself and i i pretty i actually think the torso and the shoulders were the part that they doing the color separation at their best because you know the shoulders and the torso they actually you know put a lot of effort to actually you know, get some runners, do the color separation properly. And that's another part is the shoulder is a individual part here. So you can move up and down so you can transform it easily later during the uh, transformation part. And I will show you later. So now let's talk about the waist part. So let me move up the hands. So the waist part here is a red piece. So the red piece here is uh, can slightly move up and you can move front and back as well. So you can choose the position you want. There's color, there's, uh, you need to repaint the waist part because a lot of parts should be black and I just used the marker to do it. The whole waist can go up to the front, 90 degrees, the back skirt is fixed so you can't do anything. Uh, however, the kicking angle of the model is a very, it's very good. And then we, obviously there's no way to kick to the black. And then if we lift up, uh, it can lift up 90 degrees. That is a very good articulation. And then the and the legs can bend about this much. It's not really that much. And then, you know, this part of the feet is a, is a ball joint. So you can move to whatever position you want. The, the front of the, the tip of the legs can move as well. The back of the legs can be moved as well. As we can see, we can see the joint in here and then we can just simply uh, re-attract it and yeah that's pretty much it and also the part that i like the most is they included the thrusters down on the feet they did not just come with the mold and then let you repaint it they actually give you a separate piece to you know to for you to put it back on and i really like that and i really like the you know consider about the you know very small detail for the gampler and I actually think for a very small scale gunpla, it's not really that bad. It's just the, it's just, you have to do a lot of, you know, black repaint. So you can easily buy a marker or you can buy, or you, or you can fancier and then you, you can buy a, a spray paint to do it. But, you know, my suggestion is if you don't want to, you know, very repaint it very detailedly, you can just use a marker, you know, just take some time fill it up next up we got the wings at the back so it's attached to the backpack so first it can move 90 degrees and then it can it, there's a joint in there it's very easy to pop out so you have to be careful it is a ball joint so it can slightly move up and slightly move down so don't expect too much and the wings uh, can be opened and as you can see it will come like this and if we turn it to the back if i show you we, if we turn it to the back you can see there's details in the wings so make sure you do those panel linings so look closely there's details in the wings so be sure to do the panel line as well in that part and also the part that I don't like the that the part that I don't like a bit is the is the wings is pretty easy to pop out and I don't really like that 
the yellow part, unfortunately, the yellow part of the wings is a sticker, but it's okay. The sticker is pretty easy to apply. It's not going to be, you know, very ugly or, you know, very hard to put it on. So, you know, I can still accept about that. As long as it's not being crumpy or, you know, very hard to put it on, I, I'm fine with these stickers. As long as it's fit and it don't, you know, popping out randomly. Next up, let's, let's introduce the accessories. So first we got a pair of beam saber, but this beam saber is not really that tight though. It's very easy to pull out. As you can see, I didn't even use anything and then just, uh, and then just pop out. So I have, I have a little bit concerned about this. So, you know, when you're posting, so you might find when you're posting, the beam sabers keep popping out, the uh, effect parts keep popping out because the joint to put the effect parts is actually pretty loose. So um, you might want to be careful when you, you know, messing around or posting around. So the next up, we got a shield. This time the shield, they did a good job. They actually re-engineered re the part in the anime when the Wing Gundam Zero, you know, uh, pop the pop the uh, shield out to do the close combat and I do realize I forgot to wipe the pen aligning here I will do it off video okay and overall it's not really that you know surprising the red part of the shield here is a sticker and then the green part of the bird head is a sticker as well next up we got a two a bust arrival so the handles you can actually flip it up and close it and then just like in the anime, they can be going together like this. Just simply there's a join on it and then you can just put them together and then separate them whenever you want. And then next up for the transformation part during the feet is not movable. So Bandai give you a extra pair of fixed feet for the uh, MA mode. So I will show you later how do you put it on and I will show you later what part do you need to take it off in order to do the full transformation. But you know, the part that I actually pretty, you know, disappointing is that the feet, they didn't came with transformation part, they came with a fixed part. I wish they were, they give a extra joint on the Gampla so I can do the transformation without, you know, ripping everything off from the body but unfortunately that's not possible anyways not going to talk too much let's move move forward to the neo bird mode so now let's do a quick you know <clears throat> demonstration on how to do the neo bird mode so first you need to turn the head all the way back here and then you need to turn the whole body back as well so now that's the first part of transformation you will get something like this and then what you need to do is and then what you need to do is, you know, you put down the shoulders, just simply doing like this, you put down the shoulders like this, and then keep the hand like the same. And then now you open up the, you open up the feet right here. You open up the feet right here, and then you pull out the whole joint of the feet. So be careful when you're pulling it out because you don't want to damage the parts. Oh, move the camera. And then you just basically put it back in like this so where's the part so now you should have something like this you put it in with the joint and then now you should have something like this so the whole feet transformation is being done and then now what we have to do we just have to relocate the feet so we just have to do simply just move up the spot move up a bit just move up the upper the upper part of the feet so you just do it like this reposition it and that's pretty much it and then Next, we need to open up the wings. Remember, don't open it too, don't open too much because it's gonna, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna pop the joint. And then now we just have to move it to the side like this. So now move down ninety degrees, and then you you use the joint in it, and then you move it up again, and then you should have something like this. It's pretty, it's pretty much like this. Oops, as you can, as I said before. It's a ball joint, so it's pretty easy to pop out. So make sure you have to you have to know that which part of the angle is to as the limit that you can twist, and then you can you now have something like this. And then what next part? Next part is we need to remove the handle from the sh shield. Oh, actually, we don't have to remove it. We just have to flip it up. We just have to flip it up like this, and then now put the Buster Cannon at the side. That's a joint at the back of. Oh, there's a joint at the back of the rival and you just have to put it in like this. 
and then you you should have something like this. The bird head is being completed. And then now, whoa, and then now remember this that's a joint in here. You're going going it on the backpack here, and then basically you just have to plug it in. Just give me a minute. And now the nail bird mode is being completed. And it's pretty long, so I can't really show it on the camera. It's pretty long, and I don't like the bus arrival. The bus arrival is keep popping out from the shield. This is the part that I don't like, but it's okay. We made it. So now we have something like this. So this is a nail bird mode, and the two beam sabers, nowhere to store. This is not the Hornel version. The Hornel version. Uh, the beam saber is stored in the shield, but unfortunately, in this gunpla, the, the, uh, the beam sabers have nowhere to be stored. And then now you can, and then now you have the new bird mode like this. So that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop like all my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. I honestly, I honestly think it is a pretty good XG, although there's some part that you need to repaint it. Although that's you know, um some kind of articulation it's not articulation problem it's kind of like the stability of the ma but it's fine we can deal with it and i honestly think though if you're looking forward to you know a very small scale and then a lot of detail i honestly will recommend you this one because don't look at it as a very small gun plug. it actually got a lot of penalized that on the gunplay for you to do it so if you're someone that love a small scale and you know love a lot of details on a gunplay so i will pretty much recommend you to do to buy this one to have fun with it and it is pretty simple and it's pretty easy to build so it's not going to take you a lot of time or so you or you know it's going to take you a lot of effort to build it you can do it slowly and then it's pretty simple and pretty quick so it's good for beginners as well Anyways, this is this is it, and you know I will see you guys in another gameplay review, and be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more contents, and I will see you guys next time in another video. Goodbye.